So Steve Bannon took a selfie with a guest in the White House, and unfortunately, the selfie revealed his master plan on a whiteboard behind them. Now, uh, this is uh, a selfie with Rabbi uh, Shmuley Boteach, okay? And so, apparently, Steve Bannon has this infamous whiteboard in his office where he writes down all of the uh, campaign promises that they made uh, on the trail, as well as just general, uh, you know, things that they would like to happen while in the White House. Now, you can see a little bit closer in a photo here uh, of some of the things. Now, if you can't read that because you're watching on a computer or you're blind like me, um, here are some of the things that this whiteboard says. It says, repeal and replace Obamacare, eliminate the estate tax, Sunset our visa laws so that Congress is forced to revise and revisit them. Suspend immigration from terror-prone regions. Uh, triple the number of ICE agents. Build the border wall and eventually make Mexico. And you can see in that uh, second picture that it says pay for it. Uh, and then suspend the Syrian refugee program. So apparently what he does is he writes all this stuff down. And you can see uh, in the picture just behind us, they check it off when they have achieved it. And catch and release, that's I for fishing. It. That's just for fishing. Yeah, no, Steve he Bannon loves eat. fishing. When he <laughs> catches a fish, Steve Bannon bites the head off right there and holds it up. I'm, I'm reading it Blood now. sacrifice and His, then throws for, it and then throws it in. He has really terrible handwriting. That's the first thing I he thought about. He eats it just, just like, like Smeagol. That's what I want okay, to so eat. Okay, so let's... let's <laughs> <laughs> this is a fun Mouse. story about Steve um, Bannon. <laughs> I want to bring attention to the fact that all of these are awful, right? And will affect the lives of million people. But also, like, how dumb are you? Staged. 100% you staged. staged. There's no way this is an accident. It's 100 days. He's getting so much... He's getting so much criticism for not accomplishing anything. He releases a, uh, Trump releases a hundred day ad about how awesome it is, and then at the end of the day, he just wants you to look and see how many things are checked off yeah. on his list. 1, and then let's percent. talk about what gets to get checked off on your list. Ending immigration from terrorism pro countries. You tried. It failed. It still gets a check. Should it, should it be an X on top of the check? Well, like maybe like they, me. when they first signed off on the executive order, they were like, oh, check. And then they should cross it off. Cross yeah, off the check. that's like me saying, like, become an NBA superstar and giving it a check because I started trying when I was 19. So I never think, got there. That was really good. You think this is, was completely purposeful? A hundred percent. Come on, Steve Bannon doesn't think a shit without thinking about it through. And also oh, the fact that- Thanks for making me think about Steve Bannon taking a shit, Oh, I mean, way. his- I mean, he looks like <laughs> shit. Anyway, whatever. Wow, uh, no, it, even the fact that this is a photo with a rabbi. Yeah, I would he say, is yeah, the yeah. main problem with Steve Bannon in, uh, in office right now. And there's a million different ones, but the real problem is- I think H.R. McMaster, and on top of that, uh, but more importantly, Jared Kushner and how he doesn't like Steve Bannon. This is all like inner White House chatter that uh, blogs like Politico will frequently cover, and I yeah. apologize for mentioning it on this show, but that's like something that, you know, DC elite love to talk about. And that's a big part of the reason why Steve Bannon, uh, was it Steve Bannon's um, alleged anti-Semitism, or very obvious anti-Semitism yeah. when you look at, you know, previous records. Okay, you guys it's, have, you that, guys those have are the reason. boxes You've checked. You've convinced me. Um, the actual boxes checked are, get people to know that I've done a lot of yeah, stuff. that was right behind him, you can't get see it. Me to, get people to know that I hang out with Jews. You know what's yeah. really funny is yeah. um, that, that uh, I guess, like the release from the divorce filings where he said, where that whole, like, anti-Semitism thing uh, sprung from, where it says, like, oh, I don't want my kids going to this school with, like, whiny Jewish kids. Yeah. That was my high school. Yeah, well. Damn. Well, no, but look, if you look Why closely, you? Right can we here. pull the photo back up? Is that possible? Do I have the power to do that? Or yeah, do you have go to for say it. it. Number can two, we pull the second, the second photo with, like, the, no, no, not that one. The one where, well, that one also works. But the other one. Look at his they... face. Look at it. He's just like, oh, God. Yeah. Oh, I'm deeply saddened by this. He does. Oh. He, yeah. is Vincent he looks like he, he's in so much pain. He, he just looks like he he's. He clearly, uh. Is, is a sad soul, and I agree with you guys that this was probably purposeful. We're not the Young Turks, you're the Young Turks. You power this show. Together we built something amazing. We've broken stories like the Donna Brazil story, the mainstream media wouldn't break. We built the studio, we built this network, it's now number one, all thanks to you guys. Let's come build it even bigger and stronger, tytnetwork.com slash join.